Hi Taurus, this is Jackie Conlon. This is your general reading for the week of September 21st, 2020. Thank you guys for stopping by. Let's see, I need this video. I think it was a quick moving week is what I wanted to call it. And it's because I see things going together at a very rapid, quick pace. It's all like the week is over before you got started. But because of that, Taurus, your patience is null and void. Okay, you got things to get done. You have goals. Um, you are taking care of business and you have no time for people holding you back. You are really pushing forward this current week. So let's take a look. We're going to start with the elemental deck and then I'll follow up with the regular deck here. And this is Taurus. This is your week of September 21st, 2020. Okay, Taurus. Brief flirting, but nothing of the long term high drive for success and you will get what you want now this one here is the major arcana in this deck and that was your high drive for success and like i said i do see you successful i think your focus is more honestly on the professional versus the personal or the love life to be honest with you sudden changes then it will flow naturally also a major arcana uh, also another one of commitments, vows, and living together. So we could have a relationship that you're in a current relationship now that you're ready to take to another level. Now, for those of you that are single, uh, it's going to be a toss between it being brief and passing or going to a relationship level. But the cool thing about this Taurus set call is on you. There is a Sagittarius energy surrounding you guys. Fall, new beginning. What do you know? That comes the 22nd. And then we have to move forward and stop procrastinating. You're not going to have time to procrastinate this week. And yeah, there's still some disappointments there. So let's take a look. We are looking at Taurus. Taurus, this is your week of September 21st, 2020. Taurus, we have the Page of Cups, the Six of Staffs, and the Three of Coins. So, Page of Cups, there is someone that's going to offer you uh, assistance, unexpected offer of assistance. It may not meet your expectations. With that, I have the Six of Wands, and the Six of Wands is total, complete victory. This is success. Um, this definitely matches up with you getting what you want, okay? And what I'm looking at here is that you're also surrounded by people you're not normally surrounded by. Three of Pentacles shows some financial stress. You're still not exactly where you want to be financially, but I'm going to describe that as being brief and passing. Next to that, we have the Two of Swords, okay, with the Knight of Cups. And we have the Nine of Wands. So, what we're looking at here, the Two of Swords, time to make decisions that you've been putting off, okay? Knight of Cups, unexpected offer of love. And like I said, I'm kind of torn this general reading. Um, some of you are moving forward in relationships. Some of you are beginning new relationships. And the Nine of Staffs. You need to let go of the energy of people who have done you wrong. And that is in regards to your love life. Okay? So in order to move forward, let go of that past. Justice in your favor. This is the signing of legal documents. Uh, could be a large lease or purchase. Eight of staffs. That is the happiness, contentment. This could also be love is in the air. I'm seeing a lot of love for Taurus here. And the king of coins. We're ending in financial stability. Okay. So overall, Taurus, I think you're looking at a super fantastic week. Two energies I picked up for you guys that may or may not resonate with you. It's going to be a Gemini. And of course, we had a Sagittarius at play here and there's also a Capricorn energy so thank you guys for watching please take the time to like share and subscribe don't forget your daily videos as well as your weekend and I will see you guys on Wednesday bye